coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Curtis Razorblades and John Jones. All right, so here he is, one of, if not the greatest, to ever put on a pair of four-ounce gloves. John Bones Jones. Daniel, this is the only man who has ever solved your game in a mixed martial arts setting. Johnny Bones back for more tonight. For me, I understand how special Jones is is because he is the guy that's been able to beat me twice. But when you go down and you look at the resume, you start with Shogun Hua, then you have the Rashad Evans and the Rampage Jackson, and then you have myself, Alexander Gustafson. It is a list of Hall of Famers that not many people can match when they say match your resume against mine. John Jones is a special talent, and he has shown that every time he has fought the very best the UFC has to offer. You put it well. In terms of the strength of schedule, I think he has the best resume of any UFC champion of all time. And of course, as he makes the walk here tonight, he puts that status on the line yet again. All right, so here's the heavyweight hopeful Curtis Razor Blades. He's done a whole lot of winning in the UFC. It seems like most of the guys he tries to take down, he is able to do so. What have you seen from Curtis Blades thus far in the octagon? Curtis Blades has only been beaten by Francis Ngannou in his UFC career. So when you set him against anyone else, he's the guy that is more likely to get his hand raised. It's the wrestling ability. It's the cardio. And it's the underrated striking of Curtis Blades that makes him one of the best heavyweights in the entire world. Won a JUCO National Championship as a wrestler at Harper College. That came after he earned a full ride to Northern Illinois University. Looking to put his best foot forward here tonight and potentially earn his first UFC championship opportunity. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Jones is four years his senior. Blades weighed in at 265 pounds. Jones will have a four-inch reach advantage. All right, here now the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a look-see-do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Curtis Racer! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. So Dan Bergliata shares the cage you ready? Yeah. You ready? Let's go, well, a huge buzz for this fight, and round one is now underway. A clash of styles in some respects between a grappler and a five-tool player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem in games. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting his fight to the ground. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, boy, Tyke. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, bottom. 
bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard, strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Johnny Bunk. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Jones is looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Blades. Jones is back to the side control now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Second, Second round fight. underway. Jones gets stung by that leg kick. Nice connection there by Jones. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh, oh my God. He switched the lob to a high crotch, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down the opponent. Better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop the stop. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman, just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. the midpoint of this one. Relentless pressure from the top by Curtis Blades. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Close guard. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. 66 total strikes have landed for Curtis Blades. And landing with 75% accuracy against John Jones. Under a minute now to go in the round. Lock him up, just like we planned. 45 seconds oh, remain oh, in the round. Twenty seconds left. All right, that's the end of round number two. He's gonna start attacking his jab. He's hiding behind that jab, okay? Counter right hands, whatever you want to do. Second thing, 
set up your kicks with your punches. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists. Land strikes, don't throw too many. Throw just enough control. Throw again, control. He did it perfectly. All right, here we go with our next round. And DC, you've spoken a lot about ground and pound skills and how it's a little bit of a lost art in modern day mixed martial arts. Certainly not for this one. No, and he does it the old school way, right? Now, nowadays, you push a guy to the side of the app guy, they use it as a barrier to get up. Not with this guy. He stuffs your head in the corner, he gains his posture, and he just starts dropping hammers, dropping hammers until eventually you're gonna turn to your knees, he'll take you that to choke you, or he'll just put you back down. It's, it's crazy to watch him dictate his quick entry to get Man, him on a that single. Was a great single. Oh. Oh. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. I mean, how many can he take? Solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Let's go! Get him off you! Get him off! Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Watch right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Good, solid strike on the ground. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Put your hands in I mean, how many can he take? Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Curtis Blades. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Johnny Bone. Well, these numbers unofficial, DC, but twice. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he will try to chase down that big. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you and Sid Jones is looking to lock up an arm ball here. Got to be careful, arm bar. Armor's been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right on the side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we'll go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Curtis Racing! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This is his fight. He won this fight, and he won it in dominant fashion.